those who are able to hear me, there is a very strong storm going on outside. And so there might be an issue with connectivity. Do bear with me. All of a sudden, things which were working have stopped working now. In case you are able to hear or see I hope you can hear the storm, whether you are able to hear me or not. And I'm sitting in a closed room. So might be I have to reach out to you again. Uh, those who are able to see the screen, this is the course that we are following. And the way to access this course is given on the screen. If things become okay, I will like to take few minutes to start this course. Otherwise, this class was anyway supposed to be an introductory class. So in case the connectivity gets better, I will get back to you. For the time being, I will like to apologize that things have not turned out the way we set it up to be. So we'll get back to you because I don't see it okay. <laughs> I don't see it the way it's supposed to be. Okay, now I think it's all right now. So what I'm going to do, <laughs> I will briefly introduce you to what all we are going to do uh, in this course, the activities that we are going to do. We will be doing few activities and if you can see it here, there are balloons. Then in due course of time in further classes, I will be bringing those PVC pipes, silk cloth, woolen cloth, the straws by which you use to uh, uh, while drinking uh, cold drinks, etc. We will be playing around with them. Lot of things to do that uh, we will be doing. So today what I'll be uh, doing is I'll be doing few activities and see if you are able to follow those activities. Just introductory. Then I will be writing certain things on the screen and see whether the whole screen is visible to you. If there are issues, do get back to me and we will settle those issues. And I will be playing some, using some animations and see whether I am able to share with you, show you those animations. So just a quick introduction, how to access this course. You go to anytimeteacher.com and there in the main menu you see academic courses for MCS. Use any social media account. Google is preferred to log into the website. In that uh, menu, that menu, clicking on that menu, academic courses for MCS will take you to 12th physics, one of the options. Then uh, on the further page, click on electrostatics and you will come to this course, which you are, which we are starting 
say for which this is the introductory class. Click on that button, take this course. There is a green free and uh, next to it there is a button, take this course. This course is mapped to NCRT and on every page you will find that there are some self-assessing quizzes. So, I'll show you one activity to begin with. These are the two balloons. I'd like to see whether I'm able to show you these activities or not. Balloons easily available in your home. Now, if you rub these balloons with your head and I release it, you will find they get away. Now, common sense says if the balloon is rubbed on my head, and something happens to it, then the another balloon which is rubbed on my head will also experience the same kind of thing. So whatever is happening, the same thing is happening to both the balloons. And so they are similar in nature. I have yet not used the word electrostatics, but they are similar in nature. Now the magic, the bigger magic is they repelled and you could have seen little bit they repelled but see what happens from far off. I do you see this running, running after me? Do you see this? Do you see this? They are showing much bigger magic. Something for you to explore that what we want to show through some activity. There is something which is much more powerful. The, see, we wanted we wanted to use these balloons to show some kind of repulsion between them. But you see, there is a bigger attraction between my hands and the, and the balloon. Something which happens, which is, which was not the original intent of using this thing. So we will explore this kind of phenomena in the class. We will see how it happens. Now, let me take you to uh, one of the animations that we will be using in the class. I am putting one positive charge here. Yet not, we have not talked about what is a charge, but I am putting one positive charge. And you can see that the lines are not what you expect them to be. A tera mera type of line. But then if I move it a little bit, you see these lines are dancing around. Now one, this is a free tool and you should play with it yourself. Should not be that I show it to you. You should play with it yourself. Now, these kind of links, these uh, simulations I have put in the course. But for today, intentionally I have removed the link to this animation, particular animation that I'm showing you. I have put a link to one or two animations in the course, but I have removed this uh, link, that one I am showing you. So I want to see how much do you get back to me and uh, how you get back to me. Are those channels open? I want to see that. So once again, I'll show you how to get back to me, get in touch with me. This is how I am available. All these things are details. All these details of contacting me are written in that course, which I mentioned a few moments back. If you go to that course, the first two pages mention how to contact me. So for today, I will do just one more activity. These are all trying out, trying out type of things that will I be able to explain to you something by writing. So, well, if you can read this, then it means Communicating to you through writing 
is very much possible. So, I will like to listen to you, get your opinion about the timings of the class and few of the things that we will be doing, whether they are practically feasible. Uh, I have got a message from Shambhavi that yes, sir, and she has put that message in the telegram group. So one is, are you able to see the activity? Is that resolution okay? Are you able to see that? That is one. Are you able to see the activity? When I'm writing something, are you able to see that? Second thing. When I was showing you the animation, was the animation playing in front of you? We didn't use it today. We will get on to a formal class. These kind of things. And is this timing suitable? In one of the group where I posted, people said, don't take the class at 5. We already have a math class at 5. Move it to 4. I moved it to 4. This class has been organized in a little bit of hurry. But then once you communicate to me what time suits you the most, even up to night, 10 o'clock in the night, 11 o'clock in the night, it's okay for me. Whatever time suits most of you, we will have a formal class at that time. So, the ways to contact me are given on first page of the course that I mentioned. Where is the course? Go to anytimeteacher.com. In the main menu, there is academic courses for MCS. Click on that. Then you get 12th physics. Click on that. Then you move on to electrostatics. In electrostatics, you have to log in using your social media account. Google is preferred. And you have to join that course by clicking that button, take this course. The first two lessons or lectures, they are on how to contact me. So if I'm able to communicate to you through this channel, then do write back, get in touch with me and tell me the timings which will be suitable to you. And we will have classes according to your suitability. The level of this class, the course is mapped to NCERT, but then the level of questions that we will be doing, they will be from HC Verma, previous year's questions. And because I'm expecting some children from class 12B also to join, they will be from previous year's questions from medical, from medical entrance. But then not, we won't be going too high. Certainly not IIT advanced level. Certainly not. Uh, we like to restrict ourselves to basic understanding of physics. So thank you for joining. I have taken your 15 minutes. There has been disruption. Little bit beyond my control, but quite a bit in my control. If things are fine now, even in this storm, then they can be fine even later on. So, thank you so much and I will be waiting for your messages.